Hello everyone, this is your instructor, Victor Campos. It's time to start the final steps for completing our project. We need to create a signing certificate so that we can publish our app to the app stores. In the description of this video, there will be a link to this page. This is the official documentation for packaging our project for distribution to the app stores. I recommend you read it and focus on the links for the documentation of the platform you wish to target. I'm going to target the Android applications because that's what we've been doing in class. First step is just to look over your config XML file to make sure it's set up properly as you expected with a display name and all of that. Set your Android options which we've done and then create a private certificate. Well this certificate shows that you are the developer the official representative of this app. This is a file that you create for free with the developer tools we have with Visual Studio. Now this has to be done via the command prompt. So we're going to open the command prompt and run an app that's found in the folder. The folder in question is if you open your Explorer window, you go to your C drive, in the Program Files folder, in the Java folder, you'll see the Java Development Kit folder. You may see a JRE folder. You can ignore that. You want JDK. And you may have more than one. You want the JDK folder with the highest numbers here. Mine is 112. Yours is probably higher. Inside of that folder, we have a bin folder, binaries. And inside of that folder, we have a bunch of binaries, a bunch of apps that we need. One of them is the key tool. If we double click this, nothing will really happen. You'll get a pop-up window temporarily because we need to run this tool in the command prompt. That's what this documentation here is saying. Open a command prompt window, navigate to that folder, and then execute the following command. So we know what folder to get to, and the way we do it is via the command prompt. From the Start menu, you want to search Command, and you'll see Command Prompt. You'll want to right-click the command prompt and select Run as Administrator. You'll probably get a pop-up that says Confirm Running as Administrator, and then you get a command prompt. I need to get to the folder in question up here on the C drive, Program Files, Java, JDK, Bin. We need to go to the root level of your hard drive first, so CD space backslash. That will change directory to your root level. Press Enter, and it'll show that you jump to the root of your hard drive. And then we'll go to CD, Program Files. Now as you start typing Program Files, you can then press Tab for it to finish typing for you. Unless you type the folder exactly as is, it won't work. So type cd space program, and it should then fill itself autocomplete to program files. Enter. cd java. cd jdk. Again, press tab for it to autocomplete. Enter. cd bin. Enter. So now I'm in the folder bin which is up here on the Explorer window. And if I type dir for directory, I will see the programs. I see keytool.exe right there, like I see keytool.exe right there. So now I can use the keytool app to set up my key. The instructions are here. So basically I'll type what's there. Keytool, that's that exe file, space dash gen key pair. This will generate a key pair. Space dash v for verbose so that I see output. Space dash key store. Space. This is going to be the name of the file that I generate, the key store. It's a file that has my developer's key. So you can fill a complete path or we can create the file in this folder. Your last name dot keystore. 
You'll get some word wrap here, most likely. Just keep typing. So jones.keystore is the file that will be created in the bin folder, dash alias. The actual developer's credentials in this file is this alias. Just set it as your last name again. Space dash key alg, key alg, the algorithm for this key, the encryption method, which will be RSA, all in capital letters. Next is the key size, 2048 bytes or 2 kilobytes, and then the validity. Notice the dash in front of each of these. 10,000 days, basically 30 years. This file will be valid for 30 years. Press Enter, and you'll be asked a variety of things. First, a password to unlock this file. Whatever you'd like, but it's got to be at least six characters long. And then you need to re-enter it. Next, we're going to set up the developer credentials. First and last name. You should set this up properly the first time because it's very hard to edit any of this after the fact. Organizational unit. You can type developer. That's your job title, basically. Or your organization, your company. You can make this up. This can be real, this can be fake. It's a bit hard to edit, so make sure you set it up right the first time. City, San Diego, state, country, two letters, enter. So that's what I've entered. You can confirm it. If it's wrong, you can type no and edit it again, or you can type yes and press enter. It'll give you a little bit of feedback. Then it'll ask you to confirm the password you typed before. This is to access the alias. It can be the same as what you first typed. And then it, set, it ends with storing jones.keystore in the bin folder. This is your certificate. Going back to the Explorer window, if you look around, you'll see a new file, jones.keystore. This is your certificate that will let us sign your project as the official representative of the app. I'm going to move that somewhere else to the desktop temporarily, and then on the next video, we'll see how to use it.